Okay, in this Super Dale snippet, we're going to go through and take a look at how we actually um, export a Hyper-V machine. So what I've done is I've gone in here and I've created a Hyper-V machine. I actually installed Server 2008 R2 on it, went through and did all the updates. Then I went through and sysprepped it so that it uh, would strip out all the information about it. This way here I can clone this machine. In this case here I'm going to just use it as a base machine so I can fire up additional machines as I play around with other technologies very, very easily, or if I need another server, I can just fire it up real fast. So you'll notice here, I've got a snapshot here for the uh, clean sysprep machine. I have no other snapshots. I'm going to come in here and right-click on the uh, server and select to export it. It's going to pop up with a window that says, uh, where do I want to save these files? I'm going to go ahead and browse on my hard drive here. I'm going to browse to my D drive. where I'm going to save it. I'm going to create a folder here real fast. I'm just going to call it, uh, uh, oh, you know what? Look at that. I already got one called Virtual Machines. We'll just come in there, and I'm going to go ahead and select this folder and hit Select Folder. I'm going to hit Export. And now it's going to go through, and hey, I got an error here. Oh, the export directory already exists, so I didn't give it enough detail. So what I need to do is go in here again, do Export. Browse to the D drive again. Virtual D. Oops, sorry. Wrong one. There we go. Virtual machines. We'll create a new one. We'll call this one uh, Base Server 2008 R2. And hit select folder. Hit export. And again, the hamsters are going to run around, run around the wheel for a second here. Actually, if you scroll over, you should be able to see that it's being exported out. It's going to take a little while, so I'm going to pause this and come back to you when it's done. Okay, so here you can see that the status finally changed to uh, blank, basically, which means the machine has been successfully exported out. Now if I want to import it in, I'm just going to simply come in here and select Import. I'm going to get this dialog box popping up here on me. Specify the location of the machine I want to import, and that's going to be back in that same location that we exported it out to. So it's going to be under Virtual Machines, Base, and you want to select the folder. You don't want to go inside the folder. Just select the folder, and you have the option of either moving or restoring the virtual machine or copying the virtual machine, creating a unique ID. I'm going to go ahead and copy it so I can keep this one as original. It mentions here also duplicate all the files so the virtual machine can be imported again. I definitely want to do that as well. Go ahead and hit Import. And the hamsters are going to whirl again on the wheel. And as soon as it's done in importing, I'll pick back up. Okay, now that that's done, you'll notice now I've got my second machine here. Um, I can come in here into the properties. I can right click. You'll notice it has a snapshot just like the previous one. This one here, I'm going to change the name because I'm going to uh, make it be my, uh, my domain controller. So I'm going to put DC1 as the name. And uh, that's how you just prep the machine. When you turn the machine back on, it's going to actually go through. Let's go ahead and fire it up real fast. I'll go ahead and start. Actually, I'll connect to it first. Then I'll hit start. And, yeah, should be going through just like a normal installer just after you then your install should, should pop up and ask you for a computer name. I'm going to turn this one yet. There's the setup for starting the services. I'm going to go through and turn this one into a domain controller. We'll cover that in another snippet. Hope you enjoyed this one. Look forward to other snippets uh, concerning Active Directory, a Windows Deployment Server, SQL, excuse me, no, not SQL, I wish. Uh, eventually SQL, uh, SharePoint, uh, AAS, um, and Exchange.